what is good youtube and welcome back to a brand new video so yesterday in the nba world we lost ourselves a nba legend all-time great and bill russell so rest in peace bill russell to start off the video so i thought in honor of bill russell we're going to do the bill russell challenge here in nba 2k22 a well-known my league nba challenge where you try to win 11 championships in 13 years eight of them in a row so it's going to be a lot of fun today so i thought in honor of bill russell we could go ahead and do the bill russell rebuild challenge before you get into today's video make sure you guys drop a like in this one of course subscribe if you're new to the channel as always greatly appreciated so what we're going to do to start things off this is going to be a fantasy draft so we're going to be doing this kenny king of the fourth quarter style so it really doesn't matter what team we land on to be honest with you so whatever team is just kind of the jerseys you're going to roll with i have previously traded draft picks off as well and like i said this is going to be fantasy draft we're going to be the indiana pacers so we're just going to jump right into it and we're going to simulate the draft see what our team is after the draft and of course, going to try to rebuild a team that can win 11 championships. So this is not an easy challenge, as we know. We'll see what we can do today. And I'm excited to see what our team looks like after this fantasy draft. And we can lock it in and try to make a really good team. So hopefully, uh, we just got drafted a really good team. So I also am going to load the 2022 draft class. So that way, we have that loaded in. So we can still draft Chet or Paulo if we we're bad enough, which obviously we don't want to be that bad. So, all right. So let's go take a look at the team 2K has drafted me. Moment of truth. Is this going to be a guy? Is there going to be a guy I can build around? Or is it going to be somebody that I'm going to have? Let, let's see what it looks like. So Zion Williamson. Wow. That literally could not have worked out any better. So we have Zion for this Bill Russell challenge. That is absolutely freaking amazing. I honestly am so happy and ecstatic. That is who we got. So Zion Williamson immediately pops out to me as the guy for sure staying here for the foreseeable future. Uh, obviously, the contracts are going to be like the old contracts as well. So I'm excited. We got Capella, TJ Warren, Jonathan Isaac. As much as I like Zion Williamson, I don't like the roster around him. So, of course, we're going to do our very, very best to build a championship team right now because we got to start this challenge right now. So we got to get into some trades. Zion Williamson is a great player to build around. He's going to be healthy throughout the video. So that's not going to matter. Now it's time to build some guys or get some guys around him that are going to help out. And I do want to look at my draft pick value. So we got two and a half, uh, like two stars. So our draft picks aren't too bad. Like I said, I have previously traded draft picks off. So every team has your draft picks. So that is something we can take note of. So, all right, so we have all of our draft picks. It's time to go make some trades. So this first trade, I think is a no brainer to me. We can get Ben Simmons from the Sacramento Kings and the Sierra Little on top of that for TJ Warren and Capella. So we're going to be turning Warren and Capella into Ben Simmons. I'm going to see if I can squeeze a first out of them as well. That might be too, uh, you know, over well, I guess they're going to give me Chumo Kiki out of it. So we get a two and a half star value pick and we give them a two star value pick. Sure. Why not? Let's go ahead and do this trade. And I know I think the star value is going to depend on the team, but now we can move Ben Simmons to small forward and he's going to be the best at small forward. So Now we have Ben Simmons and Zion Williamson. Uh, feeling pretty good about that. You know, I'm looking to make some more moves. That's not the only one, but I'm feeling pretty good. And we have a lot of salary. So that's one thing we could definitely bank on. Like I see Caruso's big contract. Luke Kennard's big contract is here. But the first move is getting Ben Simmons. And I really do like the idea of him. But now we need to get a little cheaper. Uh, he'll be here for the next four years. And if we have to trade him, we will. But 25 uh, defensive guy, I thought for sure. I know the spacing between these two isn't going to be the greatest. But 2K usually doesn't matter. So uh, we'll be fine there. So now... I need to try to get a center. I actually want to go for a center. I know the perfect guy I want. So I'm going to try to make that happen real quick. So I'm going to try to get Jared Allen, who's on a five-year contract at 23 years old. He'd be kind of the perfect center to have for the foreseeable future. I'm going to offer that. They don't agree to that. So I'm going to try not to trade more than one first. Might be wishful thinking, to be honest with you. So maybe if we remove David Nwaba and put uh, Chumo Kiki in this trade instead, they might accept it. They still don't agree. I'm still trying to do this without trading two first but if i have to i will i do want your allen very badly so um unless there's another player i can throw in this trade that'll sweeten the pot like i guess josh christopher might have some value and then you give me like uh i don't know darius miller they still don't agree with that okay we're gonna try two first i didn't want to give up two first but if i have to i will 2025 they don't agree i think we threw one more oh i don't want to throw another first what if we threw like one more second okay boom we got jared allen so we gave up two first in order to get jared allen so now we have ben simmons zion williamson and jared allen so we kind of have a, a good piece or a good foundation going forward they're all very young on a long term all of them are on long term contract zion is going to have to be extended obviously but uh we need to take advantage while zion's on his rookie contract as well so i'm feeling pretty good about what we brought in so far now it's time to get some help in the backcourt 
So now I'm trying to match Jonathan Isaac's salary with perfectly with the Jonte Murray salary to be my point guard of this team. So just another guy who's young is going to be on a long-term contract for us. I'm going to offer that. They don't agree to that. Uh, so I'm going to try once again to only give up one first. And wow, that actually went through quite easily. So now we have the Jonte Murray at point guard. So kind of building a defensive roster right now. So I'm feeling pretty good about it. So let's take a look at the rotation as of right now. So now you have the Jonte Murray, Ben Simmons, Zion and Jared Allen. So one thing I definitely also want to do is I want to keep Josh Christopher and I want to keep Shingoon on this roster as well. I think both of them are going to develop into like absolute great bench pieces. And if nothing else, they will be like players we can throw in trades. So now we need a shooting guard and I think we have Caruso salary. And then we also have, I don't know what other salary we have, but right now I'm feeling pretty good about how the starting five is looking. And I think we're going to be kind of like a really good team to start things off immediately. So Caruso salary is going to be very big here. He's going to make around, he's making around 8 million. He is on a long-term contract, but I think flipping him now is probably the best thing to do. So I need a really good shooting guard. So now that we have like a lot of scoring, I guess we just need to find a shooting guard that just fits the, I mean, it really doesn't matter. We just need to find a shooting guard we can get, honestly. So feeling really good or even a point guard could move, you know, Murray to shooting guard, whatever we need to do. So I got to find a kind of a cheap point guard out there. So like Zach Levine's still on his short-term deal. So maybe that's something we should take advantage of right now. Even getting like Shea, who's an absolute, or not Shea, Darius Garland. If I can pull that off. Wow, that'd be kind of crazy if I could pull that off. Getting Garland on this team. Wow, honestly, that's what I want. Garland turns into an absolute stud. Trade finder for him. They want DeJounte Murray. And honestly, I almost would be willing to do that. But I'm going to try to do it without DeJounte Murray. Do we still have two firsts left? Because if we have two firsts, I think... Okay, so I'm going to try to get Garland. I think that's going to be my last target. So let's see if we can get Darius Garland for Caruso. And then, so he was on the Warriors, right? Garland turns into an absolute stud, at least in the other foul he does. So I'm offering my last two first for Garland. And they want Jared Allen. They'll give me Taro Zier. Oh, no, I can't do it. I want Jared Allen to stay. Um, what else can you get? What else can we do? Can I offer you like Theo, uh, who's uh, like one and a half? No, they don't agree to that. And I'll offer my last second. Come on, man. We need this last trade to go through and we should be golden. If we can get it to go through, we're going to be chilling. Nick Richards, that's not going to happen. Okay. So they wanted Murray for him, but I would like to keep Murray on this roster. So give me TLC and I'll give you... Does David Nwamba have any value to you? No. Do I have to give up one of these young guys? Like I want to keep Christopher and Shingoon very badly. But the same... Ooh, is Barmero? No, Barmero doesn't have any value. Damn. Okay. Uh, all right. You know what? We're, what we're going to do? We're going to try to get some more first and we're going to come back to this. The Brooklyn Nets are offering me two first round picks that are kind of like the same value as the one I have, but we get two instead and we give them Thon Maker. So now if I go to the Warriors with three first round picks, does that make any difference to them? I'm wondering. I think it definitely should, but we'll check just in case. So three first round picks for Garland now and see if they accept this. They don't agree to it. Uh, second round pick and they agree. Let's go. We got Darius Garland. So now our team is looking like this. We can move either Murray. I'll probably move Murray to shooting guard then. So Murray's going to go down. Does Garland go down? He goes down like crazy. So Murray will run some shooting guard for us. So he'll be an 86 overall. And just like that, when you look at the final product that we just put together for this Bill Russell challenge, obviously there's still more to do, but Garland, DeJounte Murray, Ben Simmons, Zion, Jared Allen. The goal is to get some young guys that could just can just continue to develop in this game. And I'm feeling really good about that right now. So I like Shingoon and Christopher but I don't like my last, you know, two bench pieces. So let's figure that out. And then we're ready to simulate. So for now, we're going to go ahead and make this trade with the Washington Wizards to get Rashawn Holmes to solidify my backup center position. Actually, well, I guess we already kind of had Shingoon. Uh, so I didn't need a backup center. I'm dumb. I don't know why I did that. Oh, well, so we have Rashawn Holmes. So I guess we can try to flip Rashawn Holmes now for something else. So I thought I needed a backup center. I'm dumb. I should have just looked at that real quick. So Luke Kennard pops up. Peyton Pritchard as a backup point guard could be intriguing as well, but we still have a lot of offers to scroll through. So Omer, we got Sarich. I'm feeling pretty good about. So right now, if we look at it, look at things. So we have uh, Shingun and Christopher. So yeah, I guess we can go ahead and make that uh, one trade we just saw for uh, Peyton Pritchard, I think. So that's what I'm going to do. Peyton Pritchard should develop like crazy as well. So I'm going to go ahead and make this trade. He has th three years left in his contract. So Peyton Pritchard for Sean Holmes. Probably should have done the original. That should have been the original trade I kind of looked at. And then last but not least, I want to trade Tyler Cook away. So I've used all my draft capital to build the roster we have right now. So Cook and Balmero, I need like a small forward or something. And maybe I don't get it here. Let's try to throw like one more player in here. Nope, it's not going to happen. And I have no picks. So maybe we're stuck with what we got for now. And then we sign a small forward in the offseason. And then just run a man rotation this year. 
I guess we're gonna run PJ Tucker right now there. I guess. I mean, PJ Tucker's gonna be better overall than what we have. So, guess that's what we're gonna do. So it's gonna be Garland, Murray, Ben Simmons, Zion, Jared Allen, Shingoon, and Pritchard, and then PJ Tucker, and then Josh Christopher. So those guys should develop. Hopefully, this is the roster that can do it. So four star perimeter centric with Rick Carlisle as the head coach. I'm okay with that. So let's run a perimeter centric system. Let's run it this year and let's go see if we are off to a good start in this Bill Russell challenge or not. So Stephen Curry wins MVP in Philadelphia. Very nice for him. Cade Cunningham, rookie of the year. So I'm assuming that's the team that's over us right now because we actually got the second seed, Cade Cunningham in New Orleans. I just wanted to scroll through this briefly. John Morant, 33, Steve Nash, coach of the year for the Nets. So it looks like the Nets are good in this foul as well. So it looks like the Nets were the team that we need to worry about. So I wonder what the Brooklyn Nets have. So uh, I won't be looking at this like crazy throughout the video because we do have like 13 seasons to go through. So looking at the player stats for this year, though, 28 from Garland, which is why I got him. He's an absolute freaking stud. 25 from Zion, 16 from DeJounte, 15 from Ben Simmons, and then 12 from Shingun, 11 from Jarrett Allen. So I like my roster a lot, of course, and uh, we are trying to. So what does Brooklyn have? That they're so damn good. They have Fred Van Vliet, Levine, Mobley. Okay. I mean, I'm not that intimidated by this roster, but they did go 64 and 18. So I guess this shouldn't speak too soon. But regardless, it is time to see if our first year will be a championship or not. We get LeBron James in round one. Game one, we're down one to zero, lose by two. Not a good start at all. Game two, we even it up though, beat them by 41. That one. There we go. Game three, two to one. Game four, they even it up. Win game five, please. Let's go. Can we win game six? Game seven early on. I'm not feeling good about this right now. I'm going to go to an eight man rotation because like we really can't afford to lose year number one like that. Then is PJ Tucker really that tired right now? Like get out of the rotation if you can't handle the, handle it right now, man. I'm sorry, but we need guys that are ready. So maybe I shouldn't even worry about trade for PJ Tucker. We're going to try to replace that a little bit, but here we go, man. Game seven. Got to win it. Got to win it. We cannot afford to lose this game seven year number one. Looking good so far, but that doesn't mean anything. I think we're going to skill. Oh gosh. Oh, I'm, I'm nervous. And we do beat them. Okay. 107, 133. Boom. Okay. Now I get Detroit who have Mel Melton, Sadiq Bay, Kevin Durant. So once again, facing another top five player in the NBA. So game one, up one to zero. Good start. Game two, two to zero. There we go. Game three, they win. Don't want them win game four. No. Game five. Here we go. Okay. So they want to fix rotation for game five. Man, we need to solidify the bench even further. That is my biggest worry right now. So we got to escape. Hopefully we can get away with just winning real quick here. And then we solidify the bench in the offseason. And then we have our roster going forward. So close game five. It's, oh gosh, they could take it though any moment. And they do not. So we beat them. 38 from Zion. Game six, please win. And of course, another game seven. What's, what, what why would there not be a game seven? Ah, uh, I'm so frustrated. Okay, here we go. Game seven in Indiana. Start out firing real quick. They could come back in the second quarter. Close game. Oh, please hang on. Please hang on. No, man. Not a close game like this. No, not year number one. We're going to lose in year number one, man. Oh, wait. Wait. We got it. We got it. Let's go. Holy moly. That was crazy. Oh, my goodness. I got to solidify the bench. No doubt in my mind. And now we get the scariest thing ever in 2K to exist is an A seed. And it's Luka Doncic, of course, and Draymond. So, in Orlando... Can we get to the finals year number one? We're down one to zero, of course. Oh, man. Are we going to really lose to Luka like this? Win game four. Okay. Can we win game five? Yes, we can. Can we beat them in six? Yes, we can. We're in the NBA finals year number one. Wait, is it like, where I have, do I have to make eight, 11 straight finals? Or I have to win 11 champ? I think I have to win 11 championships, right? Game one, one to zero. Good start. Two to zero. Okay, we're chilling, right? Two to one. Go up three to one. No, man. Why can't we just beat a team easily, man? It's all this uh, close games I don't like. We got we to gotta make the bench so strong in the offseason. Not even funny. These are way too close for comfort. Okay. If we have to go to another game seven, I'm going to be super upset. And we do end up winning year number one over the Memphis. Or we won game five. What am I? I'm, I'm speaking too soon. Game six. Please win it. No, man. Another game seven. Holy moly. Okay. This is for the first year to get it done. We have to get this done. Please. First quarter, second quarter. I am whining a little too much in this first season, but it's my fault for not solidifying the bench even more. But I think we got it. And just like that, year number one is a championship. So good start to this challenge. That is one championship down. Only 10 more to go.
So a lot of players are going to retirement to start this offseason, which is fine. Let's go straight to the draft lottery where it's not going to matter. We traded all of our draft capital away, but we did get championship year number one. But again, this offseason is all about the bench. I want the bench to be absolutely freaking solid. Those games were too close for comfort. I just want to beat teams and move on. I don't want to have to worry about the close game sixes and game sevens. That was like literally so it was just so nerve wracking. So that's what my plan is going to be is to absolutely solidify this bench get a good coaching staff here as well and have myself a team that i can rely on to keep winning going forward and you know build an absolute freaking dynasty here so that is what the game plan is so a uh, permanent defensive coach none of these guys have badges but i mean i'm just trying to fill this out regardless of what i see so wing whisperer let's go i guess sean hayward so boom got a full coaching staff now to draft night so Draft night's not going to matter too much. I mean, what we can do is kind of scan the market a little bit. So I'm not trying to trade any of these guys, actually. Unless if we tried, unless if Ben Simmons got us an upgrade, we can get... Sabo no, I'm not doing that. Never mind. That was something I thought. Okay, so first round pick, Kellen Johnson. I think I'm just better off keeping Ben Simmons right now. So let's just go to player options. And we have Paid Pritchard, of course, coming back. Qualifying offers, none. And then free agency. Do I have like a full mid-level or something? I don't know how much money I have. 27 million dollars off so this free agency of course the free agency we just saw in real life is there anybody here that i want to trade away i mean yeah i kind of want to make the i mean i want to rely on Shin, i don't know how good shingun and those guys are going to get so i gotta see what can i afford out here so we got like old depot chris boucher uh demarcus cousins so i want to go ahead and sign somebody that i can trade away and feel pretty good about or if they're stuck here then i can roll with them right so i think i want to go with Let's go with Chris Boucher, I guess. Chris Boucher, $10 million. I'm going to give him that deal. I'm going to sign him. Not guaranteed he's going to stay here. And then I want to see what player progression looks like for this team and how it treats. And then I'm going to sign Whiteside as well. He might be good in a trade. So, And we have a trade exception, I guess. So let's go to player progression. And let's see how good the progression treats our bench. So we have Zion going up like crazy. Garland is up. Ben Simmons is up. Jared Allen. Uh, Shingun does not move. So that is just not going to work for me. So... I guess we have to move on from these guys more than I really wanted to. Payton Pritchard goes up, so that's cool to see. But Shingun and Christopher do not move. So that's just not... I'm not comfortable with that. So we're going to try to make some trades. And I'm going to throw Chris Boucher and probably Whiteside. And, and I mean, let's just see what this would get me. Okay, nothing good right there. So I, I want 80 pluses, basically, is what I'm looking for. Some young 80 pluses that I can rely on to continue to develop. And get good for us so i'm giving up a lot of depth here but this trade right here is something i'm kind of looking for mikhail bridget at 25 on a four-year deal is going to solidify my bench i'm going to go ahead and make this trade happen i'm going to go ahead and go with immediate bench development and then of course that kind of puts me in a bind pretty sure i'd be okay with him being like my last guy off the bench so now we just need like another person and we should be good i'm i'm cool with running an eight-man rotation if we have to so if i can find a way to finesse wide side and lyles and then i don't have a pick so let's just see tht is what i'm gonna have to take I will, i'm okay with that tht actually might be able to flip him even further for something different as well because he's making a decent amount of salary so tht and then washington nothing pops up so i'm okay with i guess tht i think i got like i love that we got mikhail bridges unless if these two got me like something really good and we can get like what was it dinwiddie powell no thank you uh just want to keep looking just in case wiggins no um, okay, so bridges I'm okay with and then I guess I can also check on this and see we get like a two for two thing going here Where like the trade's just too good to pass up Lori Markinen could be interesting intriguing for sure um, but at the same time I'd be giving up a lot of depth in order to do it. So Markinen is kind of looking good right now. I'm not gonna lie So if I give up Pritchard and Horton Tucker for Markinen and moved him to power forward He'd be my backup four off the bench. I'm gonna make the trade happen and then I'm definitely putting myself in a bind, but Laurie Markkinen, my brand new backup power forward. He should only get better than Dwayne Washington. Uh, it's going to be tough to upgrade from here, but at least my bench is going to be much stronger. So I get a second round pick and nothing pops up for him. But I think I can probably, once my roster gets filled out, make another good trade. And then we should have like an eighth man off the bench. So I'm not even really worried about that. So now Markkinen and Mikel Bridges are coming off the bench. The bench is stronger, which is what I was worried about. Just didn't like that Shingun and Pritchard or Shingun and Josh Christopher didn't move in development. And that was kind of my biggest issue. So, all right. A lot of minimum contracts now. So, let's throw... Uh, looks like we have a first now as well. But I can't throw it with that many guys, obviously. So, 
gonna continue to look until i find something that i like and then we'll have our full rotation which i think i'm just gonna go ahead and go with this matisse thibel trade that's gonna get me somewhere and then matisse thibel maybe flip him for something else and then i'll be uh really comfortable in my roster so matisse thibel in a first round pick i don't know if this gets me anything unless you know i might just i can get shingun right back should i just go get shingun back maybe we do i think i might just go get Alpern shingun back i mean he was kind of the champion part of the championship roster i do think he'll like hopefully get better in year number two so i think or even bones highland would be kind of cool as well he's up to a 79 overall so which one do i want do i want okay so right now i have lori Markinen. so i think i want bones highland i'm gonna go bones highland he's a better overall and uh i i just i like my and then we get matsu out of it as well so i'm gonna go ahead and make that last trade happen so now it is garland murray ben simmons zion jerry allen mikhail bridges marketing and deshaun highland so feeling pretty good about that eight man rotation perimeter centric is the system still all right so that is our roster we're going with year number two one year number one let's see if we can win year number two so we got the first in the east this year as we went 64 and 18. i'm not gonna really worry about all nba teams like i said so real quick brief look at the stats zion and garland like those two right there are definitely my two guys going forward for sure these two are staying here for the foreseeable future no matter what so here we go man this is for championship number two we get charlotte in round one who have drew and desmond bain somebody current round against charlotte and we are going to beat them in six so that's a good start to these uh playoffs and now we get donovan mitchell this year isaac in uh toronto game one one to zero two to zero three to one hopefully yes can we beat them in five Yes, we can. We're back in the Eastern Conference Finals. Going up against a team that kind of pushed us to the edge last year. LeBron James only getting older, so hopefully he's going to retire soon. Not real life, just in 2K, because I want him out of my way for this challenge. So we win game one, win game two. They hopefully don't even it up. Of course they do. Why would they not? And this is just one of those times where it is not looking uh, all that promised yet. So Markin is kind of cold right now, which I'm not sure why. So maybe we look to trade him in the offseason if we need to. So let's just keep it going, man. And we got to win this game five. We, I mean, we can't afford to lose right now. So this would be, of course, we might lose this game five though. And are we going to lose it? And we are, oh, we take it at the end. Wow. Okay. Game six, we win it, right? Yes. Let's go. When the NBA finals got past LeBron James, hopefully he just retires in the off season. That's all I need. And then now we get Devin Booker Lonzo. That's an intriguing backcourt. And then Middleton. Okay. Game one, we're down one to zero. Down two to zero. Okay, can we even it up, please? Yes, we can. Can we beat them? Let's go, and let's go. Okay, shift number, number two is with us, and we won four straight there. So just like that, feeling pretty good. The only thing I might look into this offseason is trading Laurie Markin, and that's the only thing. But other than that, I'm still coming to this roster, and I think I'm going to keep going with it going forward because so far, it's working. It looks like we have to resign Zion and Garland, which I'm okay with. So both those guys will be on max contract, so the team isn't going to get much better. LeBron James still hasn't retired. That's okay. Hopefully, he goes to a worse team. But regardless, let's keep it going. Let's keep it moving. So I am going to go ahead and trade Laurie Marketing, and I'm going to get Cole Anthony in return. I mean, you really can't complain too much about that. So the only other thing with getting Cole Anthony, does Nashawn Highland need to be moved now? Or we could do... It's probably just run one of them as a backup shooting guard. So I'm going to get a little bit smaller off the bench, but I think that's going to be okay. So I'm going to run Cole Anthony at the, well, I mean, I guess I can just continue to run them, but point guard. Okay. So the only other thing is of course, and why on earth would I renounce Zion and Garland 2K? You must be freaking high. Why would I do that? That makes literally no sense. Zion, of course, are going to match. And then of course, Garland, we're going to match as well. 2K literally suggested that I renounce those guys. That literally makes no sense. So now we're going to roll with this lineup. So we got Cole Anthony instead of Laurie Markkinen. I don't know how that's going to look in the rotation, but he should be better and should continue to develop even more. So player progression, Cole Anthony is up to an 83. So that's kind of what I got, why I got him in the first place. So going on to year number three, hopefully getting smaller doesn't kill me too much, but maybe it will. We'll see. So this year he went 67 and 15, had a really good season once again. So we should just be coasting still, hopefully locked in player stats after resigning Garland and Zion Cole Anthony averaged 16 four points per game for us, which is cool. DeJounte Murray is going to be free agent this offseason as well. So we might be looking to make some even further trades if we need to. But regardless, right now, we're focused on one thing and one thing only. And that is securing our third championship in a row. We get Jimmy Butler, De'Aaron, and Wendell Carter to deal with in the first round. Somebody current round against Cleveland. And we end up sweeping them. So that's a good start. And now we get Steph can, Stephen Curry, Johnny Davis, and Shingun's up to an 81 finally. So, and then Christopher develops as well. So those two are finally developing, but I just couldn't wait. Similar like current round against Philly. 
and we sweep them so far undefeated and now we get the bulls who have lamello and miles bridges which is kind of funny because those guys are teammates in real life game one game or at least they were i don't know how they are now but game four we win and game five please win game six no man not a game seven like i just hate these game sevens all right game seven in indiana we got to take care of business to get our third championship in a row and of course chicago is giving us some problems here looks like we have it though as long as we don't let them come back and we do beat them in game seven so we are in our third straight finals and we get zion's team who have Cade cunningham and trey young in the back course so that's intriguing game one we lose of course it's the pelicans they're not gonna stop me here right unless if we no, we're down three to one not looking good right now man are we really gonna get stumped here in year number three really okay uh let's see if we can come back from three to one deficit like this is our biggest challenge yet I mean, I get it's uh, Trey Young and Cade Cunningham, but like the defense we have, I feel like should be able to give them problems. So win game five, we got to win this game six though. So however they want to do the rotation, that's fine. Like, I mean, I'm, I'm with it. So here we go, man. Game six in New Orleans. We got to force this back to Indiana if we want any chance at all to do anything. Can we force a game seven? Come on, man. We got to win it. It's close, close as it can get. And we do force a game seven so here we go man game seven to keep it alive third championship in a row can we do it looking good we start off firing game seven and we can solidify our team even further in the offseason and boom just like that that is going to be three years in a row that was a little bit of a scare but we do end up coming back from a three to one deficit and boom we have another championship in year number three so we get to extend the qualifying offer on cole anthony i think Dejounte murray is also a free agent as well so we're gonna get pretty expensive here pretty fast but that's okay i'm gonna go ahead and give Dejounte murray's contract offer and if we have to like go ahead and like trade him i will he is getting uh he's 27 so it's not like i want to trade him but hey man if i can get something really good that's younger for Dejounte sign me up so right now he'd be my shooting guard so if i replace my shooting guard i mean if something good pops up like bam out of bio pops up maybe i can't pass on that rudy gobert anthony simons who's younger but i mean i would be okay with just wrong with the john t murray as well at least for now and then maybe at 29 is when we start to look to move him but right now not seeing anything and then cole anthony i also want to resign back as well so he's restricted right now which is why i got him and actually i might be able to sign him back right now and then we're probably going to trade him because we really well actually we could do no we're going to trade him that's what we're going to do so cole anthony is developed like crazy but he's going to make 23 million and we could probably get like a power forward or center for that much so uh does like bam out of bio want to pop up again because i'm so down for that if you want to be my clint capella 30 years old though so i'm kind of looking for someone younger fred van vliet uh i want to see if i can get bam to pop up in here that is like dream scenario right now if i get bam out of bio here so i don't i think i'm off money wise yeah well we would well yeah we're not gonna be able to do that so never mind unless if we traded Dejounte murray and then got like bam out of bow and then we got like a really good shooting guard offer out of this but i guess we could maybe just go i think i'm better off just keeping cole anthony at this point though so maybe we just wait keep cole anthony and then bones highland is when we maybe trade him unless like a really good center wants pub yeah so i think we're good i'm gonna roll with what we got i'm gonna just keep it going but this trade right here is so intriguing. We can get DeJon Timmer and Bones Highland for Jalen Brown and Robert Williams to solidify my bench even further. Uh, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna do it because we're gonna resign Jalen Brown. Robert Williams is just such a good backup center. I'm gonna go ahead and roll with that. So I might be regretting doing that trade, but DeJon Murray is gonna be moved on from now. And yeah, so we're gonna look to, we moved DeJon Murray now. And now we have, yeah, it i might regret that i actually low-key might regret that trade but we'll see and now we have a i feel like we're just more well-rounded now with robert williams coming over which is why i wanted him and he has another year on his contract so cole anthony is a brand new backup guard and then now we have jalen brown so yeah jalen brown probably gonna resign him in the offseason and then trade him as well so that is what the plan is gonna be so let's keep it going man so once again first seed in the east went 64 and 18 real quick brief look at the stats real quick so 29 27 20 from jalen brown 14 12 and 11 so things are still continuing to go well somebody like cut around against detroit and we are going to beat them in five so we move on there Didn't even look at what detroit had they have shaden sharp and barnes here in milwaukee and carly town so that's a little intimidating Similar like current round against them and we beat them in six ultimately was kind of scared there but we do get the wizards now we have Giannis and tyrese howell burden 
So I'm going to go game by game in this one because Giannis is a freak of nature, as we know. But we do win game two. We're up three to one. And we do not blow three to one leads. And now we get the Thunder. So this is for championship number four. We have Jaw and Bradley Beal in the backcourt. Hopefully, Jaw Moran doesn't give us too much problems. Up two to zero. Up three to zero. And that is going to be championship number four in a row. Let's go. So we are honestly doing really freaking good right now. Let's keep it moving. So I just made a trade with the Golden State Warriors. So I'm trading Ben Simmons away after I just traded him away. And I went through a bunch of steps in order to make it happen. Basically, we just got Anthony Edwards, though. So I got, went ahead and signed Landry Shamit and Terrence Davis. Trade Terrence Davis for two first-round picks. And then I flipped all those picks in order to get Anthony Edwards. So Anthony Edwards is my brand new shooting guard here in Indiana at 23 years of age. So I'm very happy with that. So now we either... Keep General Brown at the small forward position. I only did that because Ben Simmons was 29 years old. So I just want to continue to stay as young as possible. So now we either trade Jalen Brown and get like a really good young small forward or we just keep him around. And so far, not really anything that intriguing popping up. Like Porzingis is like the best thing I saw and don't really want him that much. So yeah, we got Anthony freaking Edwards here now next to Zion and Garland. So let's keep it moving. Jalen Brown will be here as well. So Going straight to player progression. Hopefully, Edwards is up to a 90 overall now. Not sure why he's not developing even further, but I'm happy to have him, and he's up to an 89. So, uh, Jalen Brown is somebody I'm still potentially looking to move, and then Mikel Bridges even. Maybe we could flip both of them for something right now and feel pretty good because, I mean, Mikel Bridges on an expiring contract. So, Jalen Brown and Mikel Bridges, does that give me... We can get Bam out of bio, but we need we don't really need a backup center, though. Jalen Johnson on Kongwu. RJ Barrett is really intriguing at 25 years old, but that kind of, you know, diminishes our bench a little bit and the Jonte Murray, but I like, Ooh, what is this one? Kevin Porter Jr. And Brandon Ingram, 27 year old Brandon Ingram. And then Siakam, Sadiq Bay. Like there's some good offers. Desmond Bain and Wiggins. I'm really liking some of these offers right now. Honestly, like loving them. The thing I'm going to go with is Jalen Johnson and Yucca on Kongwu trade. It does seem kind of unorthodox to go with this one, but what I'm going to do is Anyaka and Kongu is going to be my backup power forward for this team going forward. And then we're going to need, obviously, to kind of... I wanted to get younger. Just that way we're on the right track to stay young and continue on with this challenge. So next, Jalen Johnson and then two seconds. So this would be my brand new small forward whatever you know pops up in this trade finder. So if I just have to get Mikel Bridges back and start him this year, I'm okay with that. And then we... Yeah, I'll just do that. So Or we could have just started Jalen Johnson. That probably could have been cool as well, but whatever. So... Mikael Bridges is back. Going to be the small forward this year, which I'm okay with. In the offseason, we'll look to trade him. So I'm at the trade deadline. And I'm going to make this trade with the Detroit Pistons. Get a 24-year-old Zara Williams, who's on a four-year contract. That solves the Mikael Bridges expiring and being older. So just like that, at the trade deadline, I think we made our final move. Now, Jarrett Allen is going to be a free agent soon, I believe. And he's 27. So I'm just trying to keep the roster as young as I possibly can. Rob Williams is a free agent as well. So we'll have to solve that in the offseason. But for now, we're chilling. The first seed in the East once again, and this is for championship number five in a row. So 27 from Edwards, 27 from Garland, 26 from Zion, 13 from Cole Anthony. So things are still looking fantastic. And we get the Wizards in round one, who no longer have Giannis on Nakumpo, which is good for us. So so many current round against Washington, and we are going to beat them in six. Okay, that was a little intimidating there for a second. Now we get Jimmy Butler, and and Fox in round two. So many current round, and we're going to beat them in five. And then Chicago, who have LaMelo, Ma, this is a team that gave us problems last year, right? Game one, up one to zero, two to zero. So, so far, so good. And then we're going to sweep them. So we are just big vibing right now. But of course, we do get James Harden and Ben Simmons and Chet Holmgren, not to mention as well. Game one, we lose. We do even it up though. Championship number five coming our way. No, we're down three to one once again to the Warriors. Okay. If they beat us here, that is the end of the challenge. We can't do it anymore. We, we li literally fail it. Wow. We have to come back from 31 deficit then like if we want any chance at finishing or continuing this challenge we have to continue to go man can we get it done oh no oh no please okay we do beat them here boom all right now we gotta win another one and then another one so this is to keep the challenge alive we were down three to one before we can do it again why isn't the finals warriors down three to one man three to one comebacks are my specialty i think hopefully close game and we are going to force a game seven Back to Indiana, and that is not where you want to be if you're the Warriors. They know this situation all too well. Can they keep it up, or are they going to go ahead and lose here? So it's looking good. It's for championship number five 
and we are vibing right now and boom just like that championship number five comes our way that's five championships in a row we are literally crushing it so far so Jared Allen has done a great service here on our team, but once again, just going to get younger here at 25. We're going to get James Wiseman, kind of similar overall, so I'm not feeling too upset about that. And then Robert Williams, I'm going to look around the league for him as well and kind of see if anything good pops up. So we can get Nashawn Highland and Miles Turner. Uh, Nashawn Highland would be cool, but I'm not really interested in Miles Turner. If Robert Williams wants to be 28 years old, that's fine. And I think I'm missing somebody because I had an A-man rotation. I have no idea who I'm missing, though, is the problem. So uh, I actually got kind of short rotational-wise, but that's okay. I guess we can just sign somebody real quick. I don't know who I'm missing. Uh, really? Uh, yeah, I have no idea who's missing right now. So small forward, shooting guard, small forward, power forward. Um, so I guess we just got to grab whatever we can get out here at this point. So Lonnie Walker, you want to be my backup shooter? Oh, I think Yakon Kongwu is the other guy I'm missing. Where's on Kongwu? Oh my goodness. That is a problem if he is gone. Bro. Okay, there he is. I was about to say, why can we not get in Yuck on? Okay, there. Wait. Can I not get him back? Oh no, this isn't good. That's the other guy I was missing. You're not under the hard cap. We're hard cap. So that's who I was missing. I was like, I figure, I, I feel like I'm missing somebody. And that is who we're missing, man. That is so unfortunate we can't get on Kongwu back. Unrestricted. So. We lose part of a rotation. Could that be our detriment at this point? Do we get the hard cap might kill us here, man? And that is unfortunate because we were rolling through this challenge. But we are going to be running an aim rotation with Lonnie Walker instead of having Unkongwu there. Oh, man, that sucks. So we got hard capped. I don't know how I could have avoided that. But at this point, you just have to roll with it. So hopefully that doesn't detriment this challenge. But uh, rotation is still very good. Regardless, without Unkongwu, it would have been awesome to have him, of course. But... Let's keep saying money. They want to start Robert Williams over James Wiseman. I guess that's okay. That's no, fine. Whatever. So let's keep it moving, man, and hope for the best. So once again, first seed in the Eastern Conference. This would be for championship number six in a row. Can we get it done? 26, 24, 23, 17. Things are still vibing right now. We get Cleveland in round one. I'm going to still make her around against the first seed or eighth seed every time. So we do beat them. Now we get the Charlotte Hornets who have Donovan Mitchell and Jalen Brown and then Randall and Walker Kessler. And we're going to beat them in five. So despite not having Unkungu, now we got Kevin Durant, Tatum, and Stephen Curry. That is a nasty team. Aaron Derek Lively. Could this team... Could, oh my, I'm actually a little nervous here for this one. This team could stop us here. No. No. Wait, can we even it up? Yes, we can. Okay. We good? Are we good? If we can beat this team... Oh my, this is literally our biggest challenge yet for sure it says give less minutes Lonnie Walker I'm okay with that man losing on Kongwu definitely detrimental to this team but here we go man game seven does we do we get stopped here oh no I don't think we're gonna be able to get this challenge done if we lose and we're gonna lose game seven against Kevin Durant Tatum and Stephen Curry what kind of team is that how they even form that team wow that is super unfortunate the Bill Russell challenge officially failed how does that team get put together man that is an insane squad philadelphia put together out there man getting hard capped killed me and then tatum steph and kd 39 year old steph kevin durant 38 and 29 year old tatum end up stopping me and Derek lively not to mention i didn't even talk about him either man gary trent as well that was a squad they had there in philadelphia what a roster they put together there man and i will take my l we got five in a row Get stumped in year number six. So it's literally impossible to go for eight in a row now. It's literally impossible because you only have, what, seven more? So yeah, seven more seasons, I think. this Yeah, so we can't get eight in a row anymore. So you know what? Despite losing the Bill Russell Challenge here, I still feel very, very good about how I did today. I think we put together a really good team. The hard cap ultimately stopped me, but I'm still feeling good. We have the Clippers of all teams who just beat that team. What do the Clippers have that just beat that team? That team was insane. We got DeAndre, Jaden Hardy, Amari Bailey, Cameron Reddish, and John. All that, that team got it done, man. But man, this was a fun video. Definitely sucks to lose, but I think we put together a really good team and we had a really good thing moving, man. I feel like we could have kept it going, but man, the fail right there sucks. We we ran into a crazy big three there. But hey, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video regardless. Uh, definitely drop a like if you did. I'm sure this video is super long today. So, I mean, it would be even longer if we kept it going, but ultimately fail in year number six. I'll take that. Winning five in a row is more than okay with me. And then losing to that team is, you know, it is what it is, man. But I hope you guys enjoyed. This is Crushables. Once again, RIP Bill Russell. I'm saying...
Peace. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you click here to watch another video that I know you'll love.